Yo, my people, what's good? Hope y'all are good. So there's something on my mind, guys. Just want to like share, possibly vent, because I don't get it, guys. Is it YouTube? Are we sharing our thoughts on football or are we just doing it for clicks, guys? Because Chelsea are genuinely being slandered for no good reason. They're making it seem like Liverpool had an easy game against us, guys. I don't get it. I mean, we lost the game. I get it. I sh I'm over that. I don't mind us losing the game at Anfield. It's a difficult place to go. I don't mind that. But I go to reputable channels, channels I respect, you know? The rest is football, for example, with Gary Lineker, Alan Shearer, and Michael Richards. The title says, Liverpool breeze past Chelsea. I had to comment. I got a few likes on my comment and some banter, of course, from Liverpool fans. But also some people agreeing that it was disrespect, guys. It was disrespect, honestly. And then also, Sky Sports, Mark Goldbridge, saying the same thing that they sort of eased past us. Like, guys, we came with a solid game plan. Do we watch the same football? Or maybe I'm the one who's not watching the football. Yeah, like, Liverpool's game plan, maybe game management, yes, they deserve the win for managing the game better. But the moments that they scored, we could have avoided an overall game for game, player for player, tactic for tactic. I, I don't know, guys. I'm, 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 am I overreacting? Because I don't get it. Like, it, uh, is there an agenda against us? Is there an agenda against Chelsea? We're just trying to improve. We're trying to improve. It was a good showing from us at Anfield. We played well, guys. We genuinely played well. And it's kind of been frustrating to see people just slandering our name all over the place. I actually respect the fact that there's no memes swirling, maybe besides the Jaden Sancho memes or whatever. But I, we move, guys. We move. Got some thoughts. <laughs> it's a week of European football. I've been looking through the league table. It's a 36-team league table, whether it's Champions League, Europa League, or Conference League, where Chelsea are. Conference League has been lit. Uh, we have one win in one game. A lot of teams won their first game. A lot of teams, of course, in that case, lost. And about six teams got draws. So they all got a single point. And they just sit in the middle of the table. Chelsea got their three points against Ghent. We opened the Europa League in the way we should. So we can continue that against Pana Tinaikos. Um, it's a club that I just know because Essien played for them at some point when he left us after leaving Chelsea. Michael Essien played for them. And recently, a former player of theirs in George Baldock uh, sadly left us. But yes, those two things um, could be a sentimental thing for them to welcome an English club, you know, in, in the Conference League. So it's going to be a big game for us, I believe. And we shouldn't be wary or we shouldn't be complacent in terms of thinking, oh, we can just get it over the line. Rotation will happen. Rhys James is back, so we will see those elements of the game change, which make me happy. I think the team will be strong. Don't forget, Cole Palmer is not registered for Conference League games, guys. So Joao Felix will get his minutes. So I was looking at the game on the weekend, yes, against Liverpool. Back to that game, even though I don't want to talk about it anymore. Why did Gusto play left back then right back? It's because Gusto is probably not going to play in this game. Reese will probably start and Vega on the other side. And then Felix in the 10 with Palmer being unavailable. Felix didn't get any minutes against Liverpool. And I wanted him to get minutes. I think he could have been effective. But Maresca surely had this game in mind, I believe. We're giving him that excuse for now. So yeah, guys. Um... And then one that uh, I would like to just speak on, just touch on a bit. We will touch further on our game against Panathina Equals. Uh, subscribe them, guys. But uh, we'll go into the in-depth lineups and all that. What I'd like to touch on is the goalkeeper situation. Had a few comments about how Robert Sanchez needs to be addressed. And I think, yes, we will address the Robert Sanchez situation as Chelsea. I genuinely feel we, we will. But it's just a case of acceptance between now and the end of the season, guys. I don't see us buying a ninth goalkeeper in January. Um, as much as Mike Penders came in, we have Jorgensen, of course, who's the second choice behind Sanchez right now. We have Kepa on loan at Bournemouth. We have Gabriel Slonina on loan at Barnsley. And Slonina should be the brightest prospect of all of them. Honestly, guys, Slonina is having a great season at Barnsley. And he's a great shot stopper. But I don't know about him being good on his feet. So in terms of the goalkeeper situation, guys, it's simple. I don't think it's complicated in any way in terms of how Maresca wants to approach things. Very similar to Pep, very similar to Arteta. Of course, all three of them worked together at Man City. When Pep Guardiola arrived, he brought in Claudio Bravo, who was his man towards the end, I think, of his time at Barcelona when he left for Bayern. 
Bravo was being integrated and good with his feet, you know, that kind of goalkeeper that's good with the passing side of the game. And then Bravo wasn't good enough. So Pep went ahead, spent another 80 million and got Edison, which was then fixed. Everything was in order now. And then Pep went on and did what Pep has done. Ateta arrived at Arsenal. Ra- Ramsdale was good enough, right? He did the job for the first season. But then they realized, mm, no. Then Raya has improved that area. There's one goalkeeper that I look at when I look at England. I actually look within England. And I think if we had this goalkeeper, this would be our guy. Honestly. And you won't believe it, guys. Some of you might believe it, actually. Guess, though. Guess, guess, guess. I'm going to give you all like a three second. Do me a favor, please. Andre Onana, guys. I know, Man United, can we do it? Can we get another big name from United? (laughs) Give us Andre Onana, bruv. That's the keeper I want for Chelsea, to be honest. When Onana's on form, guys, when he's confident, he's one of the best. And in terms of passing, confidence, decision-making, in terms of the passing side of the game, he's perfect for Chelsea, I believe. Let me know your thoughts there. Slander me if you must. Let's get it.